guys, it's Tom at Renegade Racing, man. We're here with the owner of Top End Fabrication, Jason Harvey, man. Want to ask him a couple questions, do a tour of the shop. Hey, what's it like owning a race car shop and doing this every day? This is really a dream that come true a few years back. Um, we have some of the best customers in the industry, hands down, letting us live our dreams through their hot rods. It's really, it's really a blessing every day to do this. Gotcha, gotcha. So what, what's What's day-to-day -day operations like over here? How do you hold it down and, and what do you do? Besides the mass chaos, uh, <laughs> um, I've got four probably of the best guys around. Um, and it's just uh, with the way the parts are right now, it's kind of a juggling act, but we try to keep a good weekly schedule. Um, we've got a goal at the end of the week we try to hit with everybody's projects and keep them all in line. It's a struggle sometimes, but you know, we manage through it. Got you, got you. Well, what do you got going on with this? Tell us about this car and a couple other little projects you got going on here, and we'll get out of your hair. This is a customer Jimmy Stegall car. Brought it to us. A few updates. We went ahead and put him a new chassis in it. It's got a mile cloud um, engine in it. Pretty good sized turbo. No time car, so you really can't let a whole lot of information out about it. Right. Um, nothing too crazy. A bunch of carbon fiber parts and big engine with big turbo. Oh, this thing flies in. What do you got going on over here with the C10, man? This thing looks kind of rowdy from the outside. It almost looks stockish, but uh, I got to peeking in the hood and saw a twin turbo set in there. What's going on with that? Daniel brought us the C10. This is his dad's old truck. He just wanted something kind of beat down looking with a big motor in it. And we're gonna do a six liter set of twin 62s on it. Turbo 400 transmission. Just a, just a good driver. Are you four link in this truck? No, it's gonna stay a leaf spring. Holly EFI, uh, we use Holly on Probably 95% of the builds we do. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, hell yeah, let's uh, let's move to the back of the shop. What, what, do, uh, do y'all do imports or is it just strictly Ford and LS? Mainly domestic stuff, stuff but we do, we do 90% domestics. Um, Custom for Gus's MG, 347 small block Ford, straight shift, do an 8.8 swap in it. Pretty neat little car, makes 530 something tires when he's next to nothing. Got you, got you. I see this thing's been narrowed pretty a lot. Yeah, it's been narrowed. It's got some lines, custom motorsports, lower control arms, um, lines, custom motorsports, lower boxes. It's a pretty neat little build. Yeah, man. Let's move to the back and see what we got back here. I see you got a donk back here, too, man. Yeah, we got a you know, market we've been getting into here lately. So y'all do a little bit of everything, just there, not right? not strictly just the race car stuff, but a little bit of everything that's custom fab and stuff of that nature. Yeah, you know, when Bradley come to us, want to do, it had a six liter in it, running and driving, it's a pretty nice car. You want a little more power, so we're doing a Pro Charger D1 on it. Been getting more and more to the dog scene here lately. We've got four or five of them. Pretty neat little cars to pull with. Absolutely, I've, I've got one on our YouTube page, man. That uh, uh, I believe it was Donk Master was running this thing, and it was in the eights uh, box Chevy on uh, 26s. Yeah, it was crazy absolutely what they can do. ridiculous, man. Crazy. You know, you got to be laying down a lot of power to turn that big of a wheel yeah, that fast. You know, especially these things weigh a ton. Yeah, they're heavy. A lot of lot of rolling weight for sure. Absolutely. What do we got going on right here? This thing. Uh, Pretty nuts. Yeah, it's a little 57 Chevrolet. It's got a Nelson race engine, 427, conventional headed, small block, twin 76s. Pretty nasty little car. Yeah, this, uh, I actually got to look at under this, man, and I see you got Deutsch connectors in the firewall, um, the pass through setup, everything that's in here in the fender. You know, this is uh, kind of like a work of art. Yeah. It's a pretty neat setup with all the fueling, cooling, everything's hidden. Everything's tucked away, all the air rods behind the seat. It's, it's a pretty nice car. Yeah, this Just is trying uh, to bring it on home for the guy. Yeah, there's no telling how much money's in that thing. Who would know? <laughs> <laughs> what do we got right here? Oh, so, Mark's Skylar. It's a all aluminum Buick motor in it with an F1 armor on it. So, made good power. It's just a, his dad owned the car since new. They drag raced it back in the 70s. It's always been a drag car in the family, and he decided to get up, put a little radials on it, and make a little more power. Man, this uh, this thing's absolutely sharp for what it is. You know, you don't see a lot of skylarks out. Uh, it'll be an old bracket car and turn it over to a radials. Pretty neat one set up. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So this is that. This will, will this be considered the main shop that y'all have? This is the main shop. Yeah, this is the finishing area where we're doing the button up and just a little small stuff. 
more of the assembly side and the front side of the shop and the fabrication shops across the street. Got you, got you. What do we got going over here with this uh, this Nova right here? This is Jack, one of our employees. Um, this is a car affectionately called Dirt Nasty. It's a drag week car. It's, uh, it's got the old engine out of our stock bottom end record setup. It's got that motor in it with a tw set of twin 62 precisions on it. Um, Schreer did the intercooler setup on it. It's a 25.5 carbon floors. It's a pretty neat little build. So what, what what's what's kind of the uh, the hopes of this car? What are we thinking this car is going to run and do? Jack's goal is to do drag week, Rocky Mountain Race Week, and he wants to get to the car to run 200 mile an hour at some point. Really? Got a lot of repurposed parts off of some other cars and leftover stuff, and just kind of a hodgepodge of stuff that we know will work. Well, it is uh, remarkable, that's for sure. Hey, this is our guy Goldenrod right here. Oh, no, 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 hey, no. Goldenrod. <laughs> we are not doing that. <laughs> hey, Sean over here at Top End, he's the secondary owner of, of Top End Fabrication, man. We, we asked Jason what it's like owning a he's race car shop. What's it like? We, we want to we know from you. You're, you're the tuning guy. We see you in the office buying parts. You build. You do everything. What's it like? It's, it's frustrating at times, but it's really rewarding. I mean, we really are doing what we love. Uh, I wouldn't want to be doing anything else. I couldn't imagine doing anything else, even on the worst days. Right. So we've got some good customers. And we've got a lot of fun deals going on, as you guys have seen. So well, we really enjoy it. I, I, I will tell you that I, I absolutely believe that because whenever we first got my car off the dyno, yeah. your smile was <laughs> as big as mine. I think it was. I think you, it was. You know, you know was... we actually captured a picture of that, and it was just uh, – it was a good day for me. It was a good day for y'all too. We made dreams day. come true. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. and uh, here we go again. So we're uh, actually getting ready to walk over here to the other shop. What's your expectations and what are you thinking with the new setup in this event? You're going to be tuning this thing. We've got a 427. It's dark. We're changing the fuel system. More fuel. What kind of boost levels are you thinking that we might run to? What kind of power level? 40 or 50 pounds pretty easily. That's what I'm looking at. Uh, on the Intune's Dino, 1500. Without struggling too much, we were all we were close at 30. I think if we'd added some more, this is going to be a better engine. It sounds like a little more cubic inches, so I think we can do it. Well, if we can make 1500 on his. That's that's doing something. So. Yeah, yeah, and that's a Mustang dyno too. Yeah, so very conservative Mustang dyno. Yeah. Right, so we'd be probably in the ballpark of 1800 range somewhere. I'd say else. so. Yeah, on a dyno well, jet. Yeah. Hey, I'm ready to see this, man. Let's get over to the other shop and check it out. Thanks for Thanks, talking guys. to us. Hey, so we're over here at the fab side of the shop. Um, I, I noticed you said some of the cars over here are done too, that we kind of push them out of the way. So tell us about this right here. This little S10 out of South Georgia, um, six liter F1 Pro Charger. Um, truck's dynoed, been up to Scott's, makes pretty good power. There again, don't want to let numbers out on it. Um, it's a fun little street truck. It's Absolutely. a handful to drive. Yeah, it, uh, it looks pretty mean, man. It looks pretty mean. It's even got a bed cover on it and everything. You, yeah, and the inside looks stock. No cage in it. No, no car, no cage, no bar work of any kind. Holly, Terminator. Um, Put some stock wheels on this, you wouldn't know the difference. You never know. Well, you got some phenomenal stuff over here, and this is kind of the new age stuff that's everybody, all the young cats got out on the street. This is a, a back half or full chassis Corvette. Tell us about this. Yeah, it's a four link Corvette. Um, Customer Sean Madden brought it to us. We did the 25.5 on it a year or so back. He's been doing a little race, and we're going to do a little upgrading. He got with 10 Soldiers race cars, and he's going to do a floater rear end housing, um, update some shocks, and some little stuff like that, take a little more weight out of the car. Um, he's the owner of Next Shift that does the man's brake for the gotcha. straight shift cars. Gotcha. Um, but yeah. And that's what I need on my car. Fellow YouTube guy, yeah. I've been talking to him about putting it on your car. Yeah, we absolutely need that. We need to, uh, yeah, it's actually got the V2 band brake. That's the digital display up there for it in the car. It's, that's the prototype it. for it. Yeah, I, I need the prototype in my car. Yeah. We need to, and uh, it wires directly into the Holly and everything. It's pretty neat. Deal. It's a little Corvette out of Atlanta. Uh, the guys up at LS Experts, we do quite a bit of cage work for them and fab stuff. Uh, we've worked with Charlie and the guys for years. It's just a little Z06 car with a Got a pro charger on it. We're gonna do a 10 point cage in it. Just a nice, clean driver. Got it, got it. 
Another Corvette out of South Carolina. It's going to be a 25.5 vet, twin turbo, straight shift car. Um, that's about all I can let go on that right now. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be main. It's going to be at least. Then the Supra, we've been working on and off on it for a while now. And it's just kind of, with the way the market's been, the owner's kind of been floating things around. We're about to get started back on it. Um, pretty neat old Supra. Cut it all out, put a nice cage in it. It's 2J car. Yeah, so this is a 25.5 in here. It's right? 25 in it. Yes. Uh, so this thing's going to go fast. It'll be pretty quick. It's a double kind of car as well. Um, like I said, it's got a billet 2J going in it. Big turbo, turbo 400. Pretty neat setup. It's got the lines custom motorsports did the rear end housing for it. Yeah, this thing is uh, pretty beautiful. You know, was this a running car when y'all got it? This was a running, driving car. Yeah, wow. Wow. You think some guys would get like a wreck one or something. <laughs> we're going to do all this stuff. Nah, we're going to do it, do it right. Hey, so we just want to say thanks, man, for giving us a tour of the shop and talking to us about your day-to-day -day operations and what you got going on and showing us some of the neat projects over here. Stay tuned for the Savette. Engine's going in soon, 1st of November-ish. Yep. We'll have it done on the dyno, so this thing's going to make some absolute fire. That'll be ridiculous. Hey, pay attention. Watch out for us soon. Thanks for watching.